Hello, welcome back. This is Coin Pig. So today I have another unboxing, but we'll come to that in a second. I just want to remind you before we get into the box, just to check out some of my other videos. I'm going to put a link into a few of my other videos in the description below. And don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. There'll also be a giveaway video very soon. So make sure you're subscribed to enter that. This one, I'm not even sure what's in here because I've waited for a couple of orders from the Royal Mint. This one, I think I've been waiting since before Christmas. So this is definitely over, well, six weeks, I think at this point, that I've been waiting for this. So what is it? Let's open this box, shall we? I can, it's a small enough box, I can open it here. So let's start, let's open this. All right, take out the incriminating evidence. And this is the Gothic Crown Quartered Arms. This is the two ounce silver proof coin. Yeah, it's taking its time to get here, but it's here. So I think what I might do is I put my gloves on to hold this one. Um, just so I don't get any smeary fingerprints or anything on the actual box and everything. And uh, I'll come back to you in a second. So let's have a look, shall we? This is one of, I should, I should mention, I suppose, this is the William Wyon collection. <laughs> it's not technically a William Wyon collection, no. It's actually part of the Great Engravers designer collection. There's the booklet. Have a quick look at that. This is the Dynasty of Engravers, the Wyon family actually, because there was more than just one Wyon, William Wyon. Um, Uncle Thomas and Cousin Thomas Jr. and son Leonard and, um, well anyway, <laughs> there's a, I'm not going to go through every page, but this is the, essentially the, the design, the original Gothic crown. I think only around, what well, it says on here, only 8,000. Silver coins were initially struck, and a handful of gold ones, but uh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of information on that, and it ends with the Chief Engraver Gordon Summers retrospective or whatever on here. You're interested, I know, in the coin itself, and I'm hopeful, I'm hopeful, not necessarily guaranteed, but I'm hopeful that the Royal Mint has concentrated on quality on this coin and we'll find that when we open the box so let's open shall we let's have a look at this coin oh that is amazing it's, i'm not quite sure which way round it is now this is the problem with these gloves and let's take it out oh of course the capsule isn't sealed raw mint I know it's uh, it's it can happen in transit, but come on, let's bear with me a second when I get the coin out. Right, sorry about that, but uh, yeah, the Royal Mint doesn't seem to have a handle on how to get these coins out safely these days, unfortunately. But the coin itself looks amazing. Now this is the as I said the two ounce silver proof coin, and um, you can see it's a really impressive design not 100% perfect I don't think I've had a quick look couldn't resist having a quick look but it's not 100% perfect but yeah I think overall it looks amazing uh, hang on well unfortunately the capsule is loose hear that but yeah I mean, I like the design. The design is amazing. Obviously, it's not the original. Nothing can beat the original, but I can't afford an original. There's the, uh, the Queen's Portrait Course from JC, 2021, dated coin. Now, it is a, just a, a milled edge, 
there's no engraving on it. And um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go through and take some video and some images, still images, and uh, give you a bit more intricate detail, close up. And I'll give you some uh, facts and figures as well at the same time, possibly taken from the from the booklet, but uh, we'll see. And um, see how you enjoy it. It's, I, I think it is an amazing coin. It's fairly, fairly chunky, being it's only a two ounce coin. I think these sort of coins generally, they look better the bigger the coin, basically. And I think in, in this case, probably the 10 ounce coin is about the right size to get. I couldn't get one, unfortunately. Because they're in demand. But I think it's a, a good substitute to get the two ounce coin. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with this coin yet, but uh, we'll see. But hopefully you enjoy the coin and uh, I'll give you a few close up closer up images of the coin itself. Let me know what you think about it. Have you been collecting this series of the engravers? And uh, yeah, I'll be back in a second with a wrap up and uh, my final thoughts. So there was 4,006 of these produced by the Royal Mint worldwide. Not necessarily in this presentation, that was only 3,750, but very limited number in general. And look at that design, it is gorgeous isn't it? I do like that particular design, of course this is a uh, reconstruction if you like of the original from William Wine who was chief engraver at the Royal Mint between 1828 and 1851 so a very short period of time in general and this is of course the last in the trilogy of designs that the Royal Mint are issuing commemorating William Wyon and his work so of course we saw the original Una and the Lion and the three graces and this is of course the gothic crown the final design in the set of three all right i'm going to show you some close-ups as well there you are there's some close-ups shots it's not the best uh, quality shots unfortunately because of the nature of the way i'm doing it but uh, You can give, it gives you an idea of the detail on the design and um, I'll leave the translation to the text in the description but, yeah so there we are there's the um, coin again in all its splendor and I'll leave you with a few photos
Again, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. I'll be back next time for more. Keep collecting though.